Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see this packet tracer activity using trace route to discover the network. Before coming to this packet tracer activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Right, coming back to our packet tracer activity. Here we can see the user exit password is Cisco and the privileged exit password is Cisco. Okay, so trace and document a remote location. As you complete the following steps, copy command output into a text file for easy reference and record the missing information in the addressing scheme documentation table. That's okay. Here we can see addressing scheme documentation. We have to complete uh, this addressing table. Now refer to the hints page for a review of the commands used. In Packet Tracer, click the right arrow on the button right side of the instruction window. If you have a printed version of the instructions, the hints page is in the last page. Here in this uh, packet tracer activity, uh, we can go to the next page using this button. And here we can see the hints. So we'll come back to our activity page. Now we will come to A. Click sales and the desktop tab command prompt. Use the IP config command to check the IP address configuration for sales. Coming to our uh, packet tracer. We will search for this uh, sales. Here we can see uh, the device sales. So we will click on it. Then we will go to desktop tab. And then we will go to command prompt. And here we will let type IP config. So that we can see the IP address details of this uh, device sales. Here we can see IP address details. IP address, here we can see the submit mask and here is the default gateway. Next is the new server web address is a b2server.pt.pka. Enter the following nslookup command to discover the IP address for b2 server. So we have to give this command nslookup b2server.pt.pka. What address did the command return for a b2 server? We will verify that. We will give that command here. nslookup space b2 server dot pt dot pka. Here we can see name it's a b2 server dot pt dot pka and here we can see the IP address it's 128 dot 107.64.254 Coming to C, enter the traced command to determine the path from sales to b2server.pt.pka So we have to give a traced b2server.pt.pka We will do that Here we will give a traced Then we can give this a server name. We'll copy it. And here is our server name. And here we can see the trace result. It's in progress. Trace complete. Coming to D. Telnet to the first IP address in the tracer output and login. Coming to our tracer output here, we can see the first IP address here. It's 172.16.0.1. So we are going to telnet into this IP address. We can do that. Here we will give telnet. And here is that IP address. We will copy it. Right space and here is ip address now user access verification password we will give cisco okay enable 
password is class. Here we can see we are in this router 4, R4. Now coming back to our topology, here we can see uh, sales and from this sales we traced it to b2server.pt.pka. And we got the first IP address as 172.16.0.1 and we uh, get into this uh, device and we see it's R4. Here we can see that R4 this router R4 and in that uh, tracer uh, we seen uh, the first IP address uh, 172.16.0.1 uh, which is belongs to uh, this uh, interface G0 slash R0 on this router R4. Now coming to E, you are connected to the R4. Yes, we have seen that. Issue the tracer command on the router using the address for B2 server determined in step b okay now we are going to give this a tracer using this router r4 what is different about the trace root command on the router compared to tracer on the pc right we can do that so first of all we will get the ip address of our b2 server so coming to sales here we can see b2 server ip address we will copy this address Okay, now we will go to R4, CLI, enable password is a class, here we can give trace root, then we have to give the IP address, it's here, and here we can see the output. Now we will uh, compare this uh, trace route from R4 as well as from the sales. Okay. And uh, here we can see total 4 hops and here we can see total 5. Here in the sales we can see uh, here the first IP address which is a node there in this router R4 because already we discussed this IP address uh, belongs to this router R4 uh, for the interface uh, I think it's uh, G0 slash 0 yes correct now what is the significance of R4 to sales obviously this router R4 is the default gateway uh, for this device sales Next is use the show IP interface brief command to display the status of the interfaces on R4. Based on the output of the command, which interface is used to reach the next device in the list output from the tracer command. Coming to R4, here we will give show IP interface brief. And here we can see the details. Here we can see the IP address 64.100.150.2. In the same network, we can see the IP address here uh, by this command show IP interface brief on this router R4 uh, 64.100.150.1. And here we can see uh, interface, it's a serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. We will verify that in our topology. Here we can see uh, two serial interfaces on this router R4. We will verify it's a serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. This is uh, not the interface. Then uh, this will be the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Which goes to the internet. Here is a hint. Use a show running config to view the certain to mask values for the interfaces. Because uh, when we give this uh, command, uh, show command, uh, show IP interface brief, uh, we cannot see the submit to mask details. So we will uh, verify uh, submit to mask also uh, using this uh, show command, show running config. Show running config, and uh, we can check the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here we can see that IP address and it's to mask. Uh, we can see it's uh, 
prefix slash 30 that means we can have two usable IP address uh, that is a 150.1 and 150.2 right we will go to the next point telnet to the second IP address in the tracer list and login you can use the number in the far left column of the tracer output to track where you are in the list what is the name of the device to which you are connected okay we will do that we will go to our PC sales and here we can see our uh, second IP address in this uh, tracer it's a 64.100.150.2 we will uh, copy this address so we will exit from here then we will uh, telnet to this IP address what we copied now user access verification password is Cisco and here we can see it's a tire 3a okay coming to the next point you should show IP root command and study the output referring to the list of codes at the beginning of the output what are the different types of routes displayed in the routing table okay we will give this a show IP root command uh, on this uh, router tire 3a we'll go to privileged exit mode enable password is class here we are going to give show IP root and here we can see the details right here we can see different codes here we can see D, C, L, here we can see yes and here we can see something yes then star. Okay, we will verify all these uh, codes. Here we can see L means local, C means uh, connected and here we can see yes means it's static. Also we have seen yes star that means uh, yes static and here we can see star it's a candidate default then we seen D D is for EIGRP right coming to the next point based on the show IP root command output which interface is the exit interface for the next IP address listed in your original tracer output okay we will verify the next IP address in our uh, uh, tracer here we can see that it's a 64.104.222.2 okay we will verify our uh, show IP root command here we can see this address 64.104.222.0 network which is directly connected to gigabit third zero slash zero coming to the next point telnet to the third IP address in the tracer list and login what is the host name of the current device now we will exit from this tire 3a and we will get the third IP address from our tracer it's here we will copy it And here we will tell net to this IP address user access verification password is Cisco and here we can see the device name ISP dash tire 3b now issue the show IP root connected command what networks are connected directly to this router we will give this show command here show IP root connected so it will show only the connected address and here we can see that all the addresses are connected to this server ISP dash tire 3b Next is refer to the addressing scheme documentation table which interfaces connect the devices between trace root 2 and trace root 3. Here we can see that we already told in this uh, tire 3a 
it's connected to gigabit ethernet zero slash zero here we can see that address and in uh, isp tier 3b we can see it's connected to gigabit ethernet zero slash one now coming to the next point telnet to the fourth ip address in the tracer list and login what is the name of the device so here we can see our fourth ip address we will copy this address first of all we will exit from this isp dash tire 3b then we will give a telnet here is our fourth IP address. User access verification. Password is Cisco. And here we can see the name B2-R1. Right. Next is issue a command to determine to what interface B2Server.pt.pka is connected. Okay. Uh, we can verify using the show command show IP root here. And we can verify it so we will verify the IP address of our server here we can see that it's a 128.107.64.254 we will verify this network address in our show command Here is that IP address. So when we match here, we can see connected network 128.107.64.0 slash 24. And here we can see the IP address, uh, which is directly connected to gigabit third zero slash one. So obviously our server is connected to this interface uh, gigabit ethernet zero slash one uh, on this router b2 dash r1. Even we can verify with other show commands like show running config and we have to verify the network. Here we can see that gigabit ethernet zero slash one same range IP address of our server. Also, we can verify with the show IP interface brief so that we can uh, see the IP address. Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and here we can see that range IP address. Right, coming to the next point. If you have used the addressing scheme documentation table as you completed the previous steps, the table should now be complete. If not, finish the table now. Actually, we did not start our uh, addressing scheme documentation so we will do that now and uh, finally uh, with a complete documentation of the addressing scheme and knowledge of the path from sales to branch 2.pt.pka we should be able to now draw the new branch location in the topology documentation space below yes we can do that first of all we will uh, complete our addressing scheme documentation here we can see the complete details about our addressing scheme. Now we will design uh, a topology for this uh, path from sales to branch 2.pt.pk uh, using our uh, simulator uh, packet tracer. Here we required a PC then a server this is sales and this is our b2 server.pt.pka we may keep one switch then orders We will use the uh, four routers.
and we will rename these devices R4 this is R4 next one is uh, tire 3A or SP hyphen tire 3A whatever next one is ISP tire 3B this one is a BR hyphen R2 now we will go to the connectivity before that we will add a serial interface uh, for these uh, routers physical there is no physical uh, tab we will add this uh, physical tab so we will go to options preferences we will go to hide and we will uncheck this uh, hide physical tab then close this preferences now coming to the routers R4 physical now we will add this uh, serial interface then we will put it on same on other routers Now coming to the connectivity from sales to this S4 then from this switch to this uh, R4 G0 R0 coming to the serial connectivity from router 4 serial 0 R0 0, 0, 0 to this uh, tire 3A actually we have to connect to a serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 next we have to connect uh, from this SP tire 3A G0 slash 0 to tire 3B G0 slash 1 coming to the connectivity G0 slash 0 to ISP tire 3B G0 slash 1 next we have to connect to F0 slash 2 uh, in a tire 3B uh, to G0 slash 0 uh, to this device uh, B2 dash R1 we can do that so from this uh, tire 3B here we have a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2 anyways we will connect to it to this B2 dash R1 uh, G0 slash 0 and finally we have to connect from this B2 dash R1 uh, interface G0 slash 1 uh, to our server B2 server dot PT dot PKA so we can do that G0 slash 1 to this server and we can see all these devices uh, inside the cloud we can do that here is create new cluster so we have to select uh, all these devices except R4 uh, then this is a switch S4 and sales and they are given the name for this cloud as internet Okay, right. So that's all in this packet tracer activity uh, using trace route to discover the network. Now, dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. Also, if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. Just stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.